Hello, so in this next series of videos, uh, tutorials on Kinetic Text Animator, I wanna go over creating a longer length video with Kinetic Text Animator and how easy it is. Now, I was really excited when we first got Kinetic Text Animator out. We got we had, I think, seven or eight of the animations implemented and I created the first sales video. And what I was excited about was how quickly I was able to do it. Um, and I've since kind of improved that process. Now, here I am, I'm inside of ScreenFlow right now, and that's because I assembled this uh, video that I'm gonna be using as an example in uh, inside of ScreenFlow, because right now we don't have the ability to save in Kinetic Text Animator. But I also wanna just kind of make the point in this particular sample, uh, when we're first early on, we're still working on save, we're trying to get some of these features uh, implemented right now, still in beta as the time I record this. But really, you know, the, the, it's still a, a valid point that you'd want to work with other potential programs. Most of you watching this will probably have other video programs. Now, I used Kinetic Text Animator almost exclusively besides the compositing for this video. And um, when, as, because I did, I was able to make this so much faster. And it only took a couple hours. Now, this is a little pet project of mine. It's, it's actually uh, Bible script. It's Psalm 100. I'm just putting, I do a reading and I'm just doing a video. It's all about, um, you know, aiding memorization in this particular case. But, you know, this sample could really kind of be for whatever you're interested in. It could be, you know, if you're in fitness or if you, you're making a video, that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of applications to this general idea. So this is just a personal project that I did. Um, and I want to use it as an example for a couple of things. One, I want to kind of just show you how quickly and easily I was able to create this. Um, and I also want to go over just some basic video. Um, a lot of you haven't get, been to radio, television, and film school. That's what they called it back when I went to in college. And some of the basic video principles of maintaining visual interest and, um, and everything. And I just want to go over those because uh, this sort of thing really lends itself to being able to take advantage of some of the fundamentals that, that are actually quite effective. So I'll be going over that as well. And then finally, I just want to just kind of make the point of uh, one of the advantages of Kinetic Text Animator is when you are doing something like this, um, this is a pet project and, uh, you know, it's not really something that's going to make me any money. And but the cool thing about this is that that in, with Kinetic Text Animator, the speed at which you can do this. Um, makes these kind of pet projects more feasible to not just do them, but do them, you know, kind of well done and, and effective. And so um, whether it's something that you are trying to make money on uh, or if you're trying to uh, just do something that's a pet project like this, um, you know, Connect Text Animator opens the door for, uh, you know, that being much more feasible and, and sort of the sort of thing that really kind of can fit into a lot more schedules. Maybe not everyone's, but a lot more. In this particular case, you know, I was able to take a morning uh, and do this. And so that's really um, pretty cool. Um, we, we, many of us can go ahead and take a Saturday morning or something like that to do a pet project. Uh, so that's what I'm, I'm going to be kind of showing you here. Uh, and I just really felt like this is kind of a general interest um, thing. One of the things that if you, as, I, as I'm kind of clicking around here, you can see that uh, the imagery is very varied. Um, and I, it's another reason why I wanted to use this as an example. Um, you know, I, I'm not trying to preach to anyone or something like that. This is, you know, so um, take the content, you know, for what you will. But um, in, in this particular case, what the subject matter varied based on what's being said in this particular psalm uh, from the Bible. And I was able to, you know, it, it lent itself to a wide variety of images which I think in turn will help me to kind of express some, uh, some great ideas on how you can do your subject uh, quickly and easily with Kinetic Text Animator. And uh, this is something that we're going to be improving on. So I'm going to actually do a follow-up series when we finish save and we make it more kind of more logical to do almost all of this process directly in Kinetic Text Animator. Uh, but for now, I'll just we'll start off with something that I think I'm hoping is a little bit more kind of where everyone else is at right now. We all have a bunch of different programs. I'm using ScreenFlow. You might have Camtasia, Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, something like that, where you might prefer to do your compositing. Shotcut is a free one. Um, there's uh, there's some other ones as well. If you go on Google and you search free video, video you can find a bunch of them also. So. 
Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, and in the next video, I'll be talking about how I just was able to bang through these, you know, a lot of these scenes and each of these, you know, that, that last somewhere between eight to 10 seconds, I was able to get done in minutes. And that's really exciting for me personally. Because um, if I can get them done in minutes, then I can get a video done in an hour or two or three. All right, so moving on.